See, with a big herd like this, you quite often get one irritating another or one trying to, or mum that's trying to wean a little one and then you get shouts and little interactions. Settled, which means that we are going to give her some space in a bit. It might just be because the other vehicle moved a tad. Those are watching them. Now, oh, a few hippos now running off at the sight of the approaching elephants. And there are some crocodiles here. Two of them. There's one, and there's another one heading straight for it, actually, in the water. One's lifted its head up, is watching. Oh, exposing the teeth, yellowed and encrusted with rotting flesh as they are. It's not often that we had elephants, that we have elephants drinking and we're watching crocodiles because there does seem to be some form of interesting interaction. Sorry about the jumping picture. I keep hitting the steering wheel with my hand. Right, the other one is now asleep. Let's go back to the Ellie's for now, and I'll keep an eye on the crocs, and if something starts to happen, I'll let you know. to them, but some of them are moving off. said something to somebody else, so now they're all running off. 
that interesting? Some unheard communications rippled through the herd, and that's why they're moving off quickly. I mean, I don't think they've seen or smelt anything. I can't see or smell anything that they could have. It's like a giant pride of saber-toothed cats. Maybe they'd picked up the smell of a big must bull or something like that. Because they're definitely trying to protect the little ones. You can see they've put them in between some teenagers. There's a big car behind. And a couple of young, young bulls, I think, actually, all the way back. It is a fantastic view of elephants. It's a fantastic way to observe them being so agile. I suppose the other thing that stops them going up the miles after you is that, you know, once they caught you up there, it's not like they can move around on top that fall off. They don't look very balanced. lovely I'm just going to give an update on the radio no attention to us, just a little bit, a bit of a glance there, as you can see. Now, you're wondering what the liquid is oozing from the elephant's head. It's its brain. Um, their brains keep growing throughout their lives and then leak out of the special pressure hole that they have between the eyes and the ears. Now, I'm talking absolute rubbish, just in case you thought I was perhaps being serious. It's a gland, Mel, called a temporal gland on the temple and indicate some form of stress it can be any kind of stress as far as we know so perhaps this one was just irritated with the fact that the little one was on top perhaps it's been bullied by a companion although it's unlikely in elephant society perhaps very thirsty very hungry yes we've got a battle royale going on here. We had a battle royale going on here. Now they've decided once we are on TV, we must behave ourselves. Now here we go again. Come on, have a fight. That's it. Not behind the tree, in front of the tree. Ooh. now. 